It's been two weeks since I received the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV and I've been driving this car for the last two weeks and wherever I take this pink car, it grabs attention. And today I'm going to share with you my experience and provide a full review of this electric vehicle. Made in Vietnam, available in Vietnam, you can buy this today, okay? Whether you should buy this car or not, today I'm going to share that with you. Let's get to it. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. Well, the very first thing you notice about the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV is how small it is, right? Let me just walk around the car so you can get a reference as to how small it is. It's about this high, right? If I put my arms against the car, I can probably go from here to here. And uh, let's look at the back. I can hug the car with both my hands like so. So that gives you a reference as to how small the car really is. The Uling Hongguang Mini EV being such a small car also comes with small wheels. This is a 12 inch wheel and they tend to look very small on the car. And, and of course, what we really want to test is the drivability of this small vehicle with small wheels on the road. And we'll be putting this car on the road so that we get a feel of how this car drives. It is a two door vehicle, but it does have four seats. So you have your front row and yes, it does come with a second row. And, and to get into the second row, the seat has to go down and that's how you get into the second row. So the exterior appearance of the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV is a very boxy uh, appearance. It's a boxy look. It's, it's like you're driving a cardboard, okay? You're driving a, a, a pink cardboard down the road. And I have to say that this car truly has a unique appearance so that when you drive this car down the road, people are gonna look at it you're gonna grab people's attention. So if you don't like attention, this is not the car for you. But as more and more people buy this car, maybe that distinctness will be uh, reduced in the future. One thing I do like about the Wuling Hongga Mini EV are the lights, okay? So th these are like the eyes of the car and they tend to give it a really, really cute look. Th there's a reason why this car seems to be very popular with the girls. And let me tell you, uh, when I drive this car, the girls come ask me questions, all right? If I drive any other cars, then it's the boys that look at my cars. But if you want the girls to pay attention to you, you drive a Wuling Hongguang Mini EV. I have beautiful girls coming up to me and say, how much is it? How much is it? Okay, so yeah, this car grabs girl attention. But back to the point, cute eyes, okay? Cute eyes. And, uh, and right in the middle, that's the charging port. All right, you gotta open this first door and then there's a door inside. You kind of have to open as well. And then now you can insert the charger into the Uling Hongguang Mini EV. That's how you charge your car. Let's also talk about the charging infrastructure here in Vietnam. There's none, all right? There's nowhere you can go uh, plug this car in and get it charged. The only way to get this car charged up is by taking your car home and plug into a normal wall outlet okay so if the charger go into the normal wall outlet and the other end goes here it takes about six to nine hours to get the car fully charged and so you, you gotta get that into a habit all right so every time you go home you park the car you get the charger out you plug it in as long as you do that every day in the morning when you get up then you got a fully charged Hongwa mini ev you know this car is so cute that in China, where this car are, it originates, uh, people put 
modifications, accessories on the car. They put big ears, maybe eyebrow to make it even cuter. And uh, I don't know if I will be doing that, but it is already very cute as is. Well, let's get into the car and, and look at the interior. The interior of the Uling Hongguang Mini EV is actually quite simplistic. You have your climate control, you have your radio. The radio does support Bluetooth, so you can connect with your phone and play music. It has a very rudimentary, uh, very simple audio system. That's about all you get. In terms of safety, there's one airbag for the driver. It says so right here. Uh, but other than that, that's all you get. Uling does claim that they use uh, high strength uh, steel to make this car. But other than that, that's probably the only other uh, safety feature that we could consider here. Now let's look at the, the dash, all right? So you do have a rudimentary display here. It is not touch-based and it, it tells you about the time and the gear that you're in, whether it's forward or reverse. Uh, it does give you uh, a total mileage uh, and uh, your battery level. It does give you a indicator here about how much power you're actually using up to 100% and it gives you an estimated range. Right now I have 59% uh, battery left and it's giving me about a hundred kilometers in terms of range and I can tell you that this is definitely optimistic like any other electric car you cannot rely on that number I will talk about the range later in this review also you have two modes you have the sport mode and you also have the eco mode all right and let me tell you that both modes feel about the same when you're in the eco mode you cannot use the full 100% of the power but when you're in the sports mode you do use more of the power but when you're on the road driving this car you're not gonna feel that you're going faster or accelerate faster just because you're in the sport mode so for that reason I tend to stay in eco the hazard button is here and uh, the the AC controls are here and there is no AC control in the back so the whole car is being cooled from the vents in the front. So you do have to turn on the AC up high so that the back, if you have any passengers in the back, so that they can actually uh, feel cool. The, the seats are uh, covered in cloth and they're not particularly comfortable. And uh, the seating position, I would not say it's particularly comfortable. It's adequate you're not gonna feel like you're in a Maybach the gear change in the Uling is fairly similar to many other electric cars you have your reverse neutral and also drive there is no park so if you want to put the car into parking you set it into neutral and then you pull the parking brake to control the two windows left and right there are two buttons here so by doing this you can raise the window by doing that, you can lower the window, all right? That's pretty much all you get here. You're not gonna get a lot of functionality or feature in the Uling because after all, it is a very affordable car, which we'll talk about soon. Cup holders, all right? We gotta talk about cup holders. So there's one cup holder here for the passenger, but for the driver, there's not a cup holder. There is something that's shaped like a cup holder in the door, right? Right here. But I would say it's not really accessible. So if I'm having my cafe soda, right? And I, and, I, and I need to put it somewhere, I gotta go like this. Oh yeah, put it down here, right? And then when I need to get my cafe soda, I have to go like put my hand down there and then grab my cafe soda. That, that could be a little bit dangerous. I'm, I'm just saying. So every time we test the car, we need, we need to figure out whether the car is a good car for taking your date out. Maybe your girlfriend, maybe your boyfriend. So, hey, Miss Fong, can you come over here? Can you pretend to be my girlfriend? I'm coming. Oh, okay. Can you pretend to be my girlfriend even though we are only like working relationship? There's nothing between us. 
okay? We're just purely working relation, but she, today she's gonna pretend to be my girlfriend, okay? So, yeah, yeah, I gotta take the mask off, all right? <laughs> so, hey, Miss Fong, let's go play, all right? And then, first thing, let me hold your hand, all right? How do you feel about that? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. So there's actually nothing where you can rest your, your hand or your, your arm. So it's kind of unusual. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah. So so I guess I gotta put my hand on your on your on your leg, right? Like this. So so that that's pretty much what you have to do if you're driving the Uling. That, that's how you kind of hold each other's hands, all right? And also, one thing about the seating positions in the car is that because the car is so narrow, right? Do you feel you're really close to me right now? Yes. Right? You, you sit like this and you're... Yeah, like this, so I, I, could, I could practically drive like this, man. I could drive like this, all right? Oh yeah, baby. I could be driving down the road and... Hey, what's up? You know? It, it, I'm just saying that maybe maybe the Uling is the perfect car if you want to get closer to the boy or the girl that you're you're driving with. All right, I I think that's a feature. You you think so? <laughs> so Miss Fong. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can stop being my girlfriend now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Get out! Get out! I hate you. We break up. Okay. Now, there's one thing that bothers me about the Uling, and that is the pedals. The, the go pedal and the brake pedal, all right? We cannot call it the gas pedal because it's an electric car. So the go pedal is right over there, and both pedals seem to be a bit to the right compared to all the other cars. So it's actually more on this side. So normally it would be, the go pedal would be about here, but in the Uling, it's here it's not a problem because you get used to it very fast but the real problem is there is nothing there's nothing that separates the passenger and the driver uh, in terms of the the leg compartment down there so if you have an angry girlfriend let's say hello miss fong can you come here miss fong i need you to pretend to be my my angry girlfriend okay we, we, we gotta pretend, you gotta pretend, you gotta pretend to fight me, okay? Okay, yeah, we're, we're fighting about something. Maybe I'm cheating on you, okay? Maybe I'm, I'm like, uh, maybe I slept with another girl and you're like really angry, right? And like, we're fighting, ah, we're fighting. And then, and then like, she tried to kick me. She tried to kick me and then accidentally she pressed on that. And then the car goes and we get in the car accident. We all die, is what I'm saying. That, that is a concern for me. So make sure you don't bring angry girls into your Uling Hongguang Mini EV because that could be very risky. And let's say your girlfriend's carrying this bag, all right? And then and then you are a careless driver like me and you drive, drive, drive and you, 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 you will suddenly break and this thing falls and then gets stuck in there and push down the gold pedal and then you accelerate and crash into a wall and you also die, is what I'm saying. That is a potential risk. So when you drive your Hongguang Mini EV made by Ulin, make sure you have a very sane, not crazy, okay? Sane passenger and make sure nothing will get into the go pedal, is what I'm saying. It's no thing here, I can pull something. Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know if that actually ever happened, you know, with people driving the Ulin Hongguang Mini EV, but I, I think it's potentially able to happen. Okay, Miss Fong, get out of the car. You're angry girlfriend, I don't need you. Okay. Bye. Don't ever come back again. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about the storage compartments, okay? Because the Uling Hongguan Mini EV actually does not come with a lot of storage compartment. So there is this thing here. There's this thing here, which doesn't actually hold very much. Here's my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I can't put that in there. Okay, it doesn't hold that. <laughs> but th there's another one here, but also the same problem. It's not gonna hold very much and I can't really put that there because you know what happens? This thing's gonna fall off and hit down the go pedal and we're gonna accelerate and fucking crash again. 
So I'm just saying there's so many things I could could accidentally get into the gold pedal. Am I complaining too much? <laughs> and what else do we have? We have some storage compartment on the side here and also there. That's about all you get. There's a little bit of storage with the handle, right? This is how you open the door. There's a handle here. And normally what I do is I put my phone in that handle like so, because there is no other place to put it. You can't put it anywhere. You, can, you cannot put it in the center console because it's kind of loose. You can not put in the cup holder because it's too small. And really the only place to put your phone, and I do have a big ass phone, is to put it in the, in the handle like so. All right, so if, if you're looking for a car with a lot of storage compartment, this is not the one to get. And what else do we get in the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV? You got your, you know, sunshade, you got your lights, and you got your mirror that you can look to the rear. You have two side mirrors. You get the basics, all right, you get the most basic amenities in any car that's what you get in the Uling. let's take a look at the back seats all right so i i'm gonna need a, a model a model to uh to demonstrate to you the back seat of the Uling hongwa mini ev hey mr sun how are you okay well you are going to sit in the back of the Uling. all right yeah. let's see if you can figure this out Was it easy to get into the Ulin? Yes, so easy. So easy, yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, let's return the seat into its normal position. All right. And how much room do you get, Mr. Uh, Sun? What about the leg room? Okay. All right. All right, thank you, Mr. Sun. Thank you, thank you. Now, now you have to get out of the car. Okay, Mr. Sun, uh, how tall are you? Uh, 1m72. Okay, and, and so if you're a big guy like Mr. Sun, muscular big guy like Mr. Sun, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get into the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV, and it's not gonna be the most comfortable place to be uh, if you're going on a long distance travel. But then again, the car doesn't go very far, so you don't have to worry about that. We'll talk about the range later. Thank you, Mr. Sun. Thank you, boss. So uh, let's talk about the trunk. And the only way I know how to open the trunk is with the key because I can't find any other button in the car to open the trunk. And uh, to open the trunk, you press the button and you have to hold it like so, and the trunk will pop. And now you can open, all right? And in terms of storage, let me show you how much stuff you can put in the back. So I have one purse, okay? I have some bottled waters here. Okay, I have my bag. Oh, I have my work bag right here, all right? Oh shit, that's my laptop. And I have some uh, DJ equipment here. And I have another one here. So that's about as much as you can put here, all right? But the good thing about the Wuling Hongguang is that you can actually lower the back seat, all right? You can lower the back seat to create more storage space. So the Wuling Hongguang can carry four medium-sized adults or two medium-sized adults plus some luggages. So when you buy the Wuling Hongguang, you have to consider whether that fits your requirements or not. So let's, uh, let's close that and give the Uling a big hug. It's such a small car, you can do that. You cannot do that with any other car. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's get the car on the road. So uh, now we're on the way. And we have four people in the car, including myself. We have Miss Fung, Mr. Sun, and Mr. Hui. They're my passengers today. 
And the very first test we're gonna do is the zero to 100 kilometer per hour speed time test, all right? I have my trusty, what's the thing called? Race box. My race box is going to tell me accurate time from zero to 100 kilometer per hour. All right, let's find a safe place to perform this test because it will take a lot of time for this car to get to 100 km an hour. In fact, that is the top speed of the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV. So we wanna make sure we find a long stretch of road so that we can test this. All right, are we ready? Everybody, yeah. get set. This is gonna take a long time to get to 100. Let's go. We're at 20, 30 kilometer right now. 40. I reached 50. We're going on a bridge. So actually slowing down. <laughs> uh, now we... Uh, Seventy. Eighty. All right, we're gonna stop here because we ran out of road and uh, we can't get this car up to 100 kilometers an hour. Cannot. Cannot be done, at least not today. I have about 54% of the battery left and it's not giving me enough power to get to 100. Wanna do this test again? Yes. All right, let's do it again, all right? So actually the first test I forgot to put it into the sport mode. So I will put it into the sport mode now and uh, let's see if we can get to 100 this time. Go. Reach seventy. Going to eighty. We're using about eighty two percent of all total power. Does it feel scary driving so fast in the Ulin? No. No? no. My other passengers say that it's actually quite scary. It feels scary when driving so fast. When we finally reached 100 yes. kmh. Well, let's slow down now and let's look at the data, all right? So it took us about 48 seconds, 48 seconds to get to 100 km per hour. It is a very slow car, all right? Now you know, now you know how, how long it takes. So what is it like driving the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV? Well, other than that, it's a really slow car. So let's say if you're driving on the freeway and you wanna pass other cars, it's gonna be quite an effort for this car to catch up, all right? So I would not recommend taking this vehicle onto the freeway. If you're driving inside the city, let's say Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi, where it's heavily congested and you don't need to go very fast or, or high speed, then this car actually is more than adequate to handle local traffic conditions. At low speed, the car is very maneuverable. At higher speeds, as a driver, I feel the car is maneuverable, but my passengers tend to feel that it's scary. Partly because the car is so small, so that when you're going so fast, they feel a bit unsafe. But you don't feel that way, right? No, I don't feel that way. But then you don't, you don't feel danger. Like you do all the dangerous stuff. You do all the things that you should not be doing, right? Really? I don't know. I, I, I'm just making that up, but you say yes. Okay. All right. Hey, look, there is a 
VinFast VF5. And that is the car really I want to compare this car with because that is another electric vehicle made by VinFast. Right now, today, that is the lowest priced electric vehicle made in Vietnam or available in Vietnam. And this two car really we need to compare. All right, so I'm trying to follow that VF5. I have to put the gold pedal down just to stay with him uh, because again, this is such a slow car. And I know how fast the VF5 can get to 100 because I have two of them and I've tested them. It takes about 12 seconds and this one takes about 48 seconds. So if you wanna go anywhere fast, you wanna accelerate, you have to get the go pedal down in order to get some kind of acceleration happening here in the uh, Wuling Hongguang Mini EV. So one thing we want to test is the... I don't, I, I don't care! Uh, one thing I want to test is the turning radius. And let me tell you, the turning radius of the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV is so good. It's so amazing. You can easily do a u-turn in a small street because again the car is so short it's so small so narrow and the turning radius is really good so this car is super maneuverable in small spaces and that's what i love about the mini hongguang especially uh if you need to go somewhere in ho chi minh city you gotta go into the alleyways then uh then this is the car to take right to, uh, if you gotta go into the hem you know h-e-m you gotta go into the hem uh then you gotta you know, take the the Uli Hong Kong Mini. If, if I was taking my Bentley or even my VF9, Vinfast VF9, I wouldn't do that. I, I would not travel into very narrow roads, right? I, I would feel very uncomfortable or or even uh, nervous doing so. But in this car, I, I can take this car anywhere. If I if I can take a motorbike into a particular alleyway, I would take this car into that alleyway. And this is how I feel about uh, the versatility of uh, the Uli. Let's just go around the circle. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Oh yeah, bumpy. Woo, bumpy. And yes, uh, my passengers tell me that the Uling Hongguang Mini EV is very bumpy. Do you feel so, Miss Fong? Uh, it's quite a little bit in the front bus when uh, the time I sit in the back. So it's very bumpy. So in the front, much better, right? Yes. But in the back, it feels very bumpy. Yes. Which is also my feedback for uh, other VinFast vehicles like the VF8 or the VF uh, E34. Uh, the back tend to be very bumpy. Um, so not, not a lot of uh, dampening in the suspension for the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV. So if you're looking for comfort, like sitting in the car comfortably this is not the car to get all right this is a commuter's car this is this car will help you get from point a to point b but not in particularly comfortable way all right generally you'll find that the space in the car is limited uh, the seats after a long ride is not going to be comfortable and it's going to get bumpy if the road is not perfectly paved all right now let's talk about the range of the uh, Uling Hongguang Mini EV, right? Which is, I'm sure, something that you really truly care about, and that is, there are multiple tiers uh, of this car. Uh, Miss Fong, like, what can you get? I think there's two battery options, right? There's oh. uh, the lower battery option, there's a higher battery option. Uh, this particular vehicle is the higher battery option. Yes. And uh, I believe it's like how many kilowatt hour? I believe 13 point something, the under 14 kilowatt hour battery, which is actually a very small battery. It will give you about 170 kilometer in range, and that is NEDC rating, okay? If you don't know what NEDC rating is, or you know how it compares to WLTP or EPA, then uh, I actually made a video about that, okay? You can check that video here. Uh -huh and that you'll learn about all the different ratings. So 170 in NEDC rating, and that means you're gonna get about, about, about 50% of that, okay? But I've actually tested this car and uh, a fully charged battery in eco mode will give you about, about 120 kilometer of range. And if I was in a sport mode, which I don't do very much because actually you can't really feel the sportiness in this car at all. There's no sportiness whatsoever, all right? Even if you're in the sport mode, you feel nothing. Nothing, all right? 
So if you're in a sport mode, you get about 90 kilometers, 90 kilometers. And in, again, in the eco mode, you get about 120. And I've actually thoroughly tested this car. I can tell you those are accurate numbers. Now, Ms. Fung, yeah. uh, this car, how much is it? Uh, all the documents around 300. Everything, documentation, uh, to take delivery of this car, the total is about 300 million dong, right? Yes. So that's about $14,000 in US dollars, all right? So, which is actually quite expensive because in Vietnam, you have the privilege of paying more for your cars. In China, this car is about under $6,000. So you pay more than double here, maybe 2.5 times in Vietnam to get this car or any other car, in fact. And of course, there is a lower battery option. Do you know how much that car is? Uh, around uh, five, uh, 250 something. Okay, so, so your Uling could be priced anywhere from 250 to 300 million dong depending on which battery option you go with. There are a few other options like color and the color of the roof. If you want a different color roof compared to the body, then that, that, will, that will be a little bit more money. Yes. Is that right? Yes, around yes. 3 million. About 3 million. Uh, we actually wanted that. We wanted a pink car with a white roof but we also want to be the first one in Ho Chi Minh to receive the car. So we were not particularly picky. We were only picky about the pink color, which we got. We got the pink one, all right? Because I said I want the pink one because when I drive this car, I want to bring out my Fenman inside, all right? But then uh, I don't know if that's working or not. It seems like when I, whenever I drive this car, I get more angry. Maybe that's my Fenman inside. I, I don't know. So let me provide a quick summary then. Uh, I will not take this car onto the highway because at high speed i don't think this car would be very stable maybe if you make a sharp turn while you're doing a, a high speed travel down the freeway you could potentially turn this car over that would not be good because you might die all right so because this is also a very light car the car weighs about 700 kilo all right kilogram under that in fact so I don't think it's gonna do very well in a crash test. And then this is actually something I really wanted to test, but I shouldn't. Like, let's let's crash this car and see what happens. But I, I, I don't think we should do that, all right? <laughs> but I, oh, I, I, I value my life very much. Maybe we need, need to find someone else to do it for me. I, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I just don't feel that this is a car that you wanna travel in high speed. Because when you do get into a crash, I think it can be very, very bad it could be very very tragic all right so this is the perfect car uh, if you need to do intra-city commute meaning that you're traveling inside the city and you're not going very fast and you're not going very far because it has a limited range it does take the whole night to charge the car you it takes about six to nine hours to charge the car uh, so if you need to go somewhere far then this is not the car for you all right so would I buy the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV? Would I buy this car? And I would say, and I think the answer might surprise you, and that is, it really depends, right? So again, if you're only using the car to travel inside the city and that's majority of your commute, you never go outside the city and you never want to travel far, you want to find the cheapest option to, to become a car owner, this is the way to go, all right? This is the car to get cheaply and it will get you from point A to point B as long as you're not going very far. But if you need to travel longer distances or if you need to carry more people, more luggage, then my strong recommendation for you is the Vin VinFast VF5, all right? Get that car. It's a few hundred million dong more, but that car gives you more versatility. It gives you more usability than the Wuling Hongguang. But what kind of people would get the Wuling Hongguang? I would say maybe students. They don't need to travel very far and they have rich parents, maybe. Or, uh, you know, maybe they have sugar daddy. I don't know, right? People with money, uh, but they don't want to spend a lot of money. They don't need to go very far and they want a cute car most importantly they want a cute car then they will get, get the ulin and how do you feel about the, the 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 road noise there's a lot of road noise right you hear the road noise from the tire from the outside it's not a very quiet car in the in the cabin i need to uh, point that out 
I would say uh, spend a few more hundred million dong and get the, the VinFast VF5. It will be a better long-term option for you. But if you really like the cuteness of the Ulin, and you don't need to go somewhere far, and you don't have friends, or you don't have a lot of friends, and you never carry anything, then get the Ulin, all right? What do you think? It's very cute car, so I show a lot of pictures of people, the decoration outside, it's very cute. Yes, would you get a Ulin Hongguang Mini EV? Maybe. Maybe? Would you want to have my Hongguang Mini EV? Okay. Okay? Do you have a place to charge the car? Oh, okay, then you, you can take it, right? Mr. Sun, would you buy the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV? No, uh, because I uh, buy a big trade Yeah, you like the VF3? Yes. Ah, yes. I agree, I agree with it. Yes, I, I, think, I think that's going to be a, a serious competitor to uh, the, the Wuling Hongguang and, and I can't wait for that car to come out as well. Uh, what about you, Mr. Hui? Uh, me too. I, I, I went with the VF3. Oh, VF3. Okay. It looks like there's a lot of VinFast fans in, in the car. Okay. All right. So there you have it. This is the full detailed review of the uh, Uling Hongwa Mini EV. And uh, take some fucking action. Look to this car whether this is the right car for you or not. Figure that out. And don't be a what? Fuck.